So I bought myself some mags uh, for the new X3 that we've got. It desperately needed a new set of mags and they are quite damaged. Um, as you can see here, these are great. They're staggered, nice big wide uh, mags, but they're damaged. You can see they've hit a pothole or a curve and exploded the tire and also scratched the wheel in the process. So this video is all gonna be about um, how to get out deeper scratches when they were through the paint and um, got some serious damage going on in the mag. You saw the um, still photos at the start. What I've done, I've just started with some uh, emery paper, actually, so just some good thick um, sandpaper. And I'm sanding all of these really rough areas down again, desperately wanting to protect this gray paint. Um, I will polish that out of there, um, possibly some super fine, like 7,000 sandpaper, but I'll polish that with the polishing machine, see what comes out. This edge though, this polished edge is different. Uh, I know I'm gonna have to replace it because the clear's been knocked off um, in these places, like here. You can see it's already coming out really well. So I'm gonna rub that. I am gonna patch repair. I'm not gonna paint the whole wheel or anything like that. Um, I'm just gonna repair the areas. I will um, link up the top that I for it to. when I did a total respay of so the wheel there, and repaired there, the whole thing. There. And around here. So again, working very, very hard to uh, keep the repair area, I haven't started on that yet, but to keep the repair area um, as small as I can. So there, where it's broken through the clear and got a hole there, I'm just gonna file that down, taking the clear off back to the um, polished metal. Um, again, because I'm gonna be putting clear over, I'm gonna get the luster and shine, come back from the paint, but get it all smooth is where we need to start. Um, and that is just with varying grades of sandpaper. But again, from far back, Coming in, really evident, so I'm using a very scratchy paper, but you can see that the damage, which was really evident from up here before, is um, big time disappearing. So I just gotta keep on going, get through that clear, um, so that it's all smooth all the way around. The truth is, with um, clear, if I sprayed that now, a lot of that would disappear, but I'm gonna go for a way better job than that, getting these um, scratches, these niches here out, um, I just did a little bit on the back end of that um, just to smooth that out But um, a lot of the roughness off this rim edge has come out So we'll just keep going to um, get that hole there and that there So we'll get all that smooth around there again being paranoid about not getting onto that grey painted edge Because I want to leave that as it is. I'm going to restore the clear um, But hopefully not have to do anything with the with the grey and the same get this flat get this flat and um, do the repair here as well. Here we go, coming back bit by bit. Um, haven't done a lot around there, but a bit it's all coming back in here. Uh, but this one here is the one I really got stuck into. You can see this is uh, where there's clear here and the sandpaper on it. And that edge between the two is now no longer distinct. Um, I will take this clear here right off though and continue to work that. I might even leave that as it is with the heavy grade because the job's done but take off this bit of clear and this bit of clear and um, continue to work around here um, and work on that edge there, that edge there um, and continue to keep this all flat and nice. I'm doing it, I'm just using a, a foam block still with this emery paper. It's too wide though for what I want. Um, what I'm doing is folding it, squashing it up like that uh, and then sanding that way. So I've just got that small area between my fingers because um, I need small areas where I'm rubbing. So when I'm coming around the edge here, I'm making sure to uh, stay off that painted area and working my way around. And concentrating on the spots, but working for getting this flat all the way around. So I'm continuing that right the way around there and I'll eventually come and, and work this area here as well. Um, and the same as I'm working across here, pinching it flat. And I'm doing this dry because of the style of paper and really working hard not to go over the edges. If I go over the edges, I'm gonna create a whole more work for myself. So just working on these flat edges, which are just the mag um, with clear on them, um, which is a whole lot easier for me to restore. It's time for a change because uh, my body's not actually taking the hand sanding. You can see it's really looking the part and coming up great. But I'm gonna to switch to a machine because, uh, yeah, you can see the 
blister and callus that's formed there on the point of my thumb. Because I'm not doing this on a regular basis, uh, it's, um, yeah, not doing too well. So, no more rubbing on there because that's all blistered up and filled with fluid and I uh, need to stop. So, I've gone and got myself, I've got a orbitable sander um, with a nice um, soft pad on the bottom. So, that's just a wood sanding disc. I'll just see how it goes because um, the metal ones I've got are way too coarse. So, that's just nice and fine, but we'll hold it flat. Oh, I can show you how I do it, I suppose. machine is it really quickly it bought this up and sanded it all flat and did a great job I'm looking at the silver I haven't touched that clear that's over the paint yet um, so I did a really good job around all of that um, and then here I've just very quickly hit it up with a little bit of 2000 sandpaper to start the next stage um, but you can see around here that's just all done with the machine and hasn't been cleared up so that is really really good you can see there's a bit of a dent is evident there so I'll go a little bit more so you can see it I've got a little bit more there yet um, and I'm gonna to have to paint down here where the chips are but uh, the problem with the machine as you can see here um, there was some bad edging so I just touched the machine on the edge but I've kind of lost my edge you can see here um, I've rubbed because it's just as soon as you get even when you're an edge with the machine you're in trouble it actually did a, a good job smoothing that off um, but I've lost my painted edge now along there so uh, that's that's what happens when you go to a machine um, so there we go I'm just gonna hit it now with the 2000 um, the actual polish or sand marks on this wheel are this way in the original construction so I'm just gonna get it flat to start with that's where I've hit it with the 2000 it already feels really good and flat um, but keep on going get it all beautiful and flat um, and get it all the one color and consistent um, it may be paint by the look of it rather than just clear over the um, mag it looks like it's paint over the mag if that's the case we're gonna to have to do a whole lot of masking and painting but we'll see how that comes up we'll um, get it all smooth and clear to start with all the way around and uh, we'll show you the next step um, hitting it with the 2000 sandpaper which brisk brings it back to that flat um, see that it's not complete but around here it is again you start to see your imperfections coming up so you know where you just need to do a little bit more work and again you see the where the machine has put all those circles the vibrator marks they definitely have to come out um, you can see they're still there on the edge um, but still in place here I'm very careful I don't want to just keep on going keep on going make this bigger 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 down there I want to try and keep this um, work area as small as I can but I also have to get all those vibrator marks out from the machine so so you can see around the edge here um, and back here where I haven't hit it with the 2000 you see how those vibrator marks are just um, very very evident but that's just a matter of hitting it there it doesn't take much with the water in the 2000 and it comes back um, to nice and flat so we'll just keep working our way around and keep getting it back to pretty but again from the top um, already it's just transformed on what it was so I know this is gonna end up great Another layer. And this is what you've got to do you just go layer after layer after layer if you get in close there's still um, circle marks there but as you come around like that was where it was really bad as you come around you can see that they are, are less than going and we'll just keep on going until it's totally gone and again this is yeah so getting close and I'm not working for a long time just giving a bit of a rub and then letting you see the progress as it goes um, and I'm just going to go all by hand and um, all by 2000 for now I haven't started over the gray yet I'm thinking I'm just going to get a paintbrush and touch that up try and keep that repair area as small as possible but we see how we go so uh, time to stop 
Again, um, what I'm doing now is working to rub out the vibrator marks. You can see uh, just a couple there at the end. Again, very faint, but around here, all gone. Um, up through there. The, unfortunately, that there is a painted silver. It wasn't just the aluminium you're seeing, it's silver paint there. So um, what I believe we're gonna do is, um, it looks quite, it's, it looks a lot worse there and you know, it looks shocking in the camera. It's not that bad. Um, yeah, that's more like what it looks like in real life on, on that side, um, which actually does look like just the light hitting it in different angles. And I know if I try to paint that, um, it's going to look way worse than if I just leave it as it is. So I'm going to get that all smooth and I'm going to cover it in clear. And again, the clear will help the look. Okay, this is where we're going to end. Um, the wheel is all, that is from uh, about under four feet away, looking at the wheel. Um, and uh, the work is all done now. If you come up really close, you'll see the, the disappointing part here is that the fact that the wheel's not just polished, but it's painted. You can see the difference there and uh, around here. But again, I've worked really hard. I've kept that near a, a natural mark and down there again. Um, but really happy with that. All the dark marks, all the scratches um, and all the rest of it. And I've worked on the gray as well. I've gotten out all of the um, vibrator marks from the machine. Given the choice, I would have um, taken a couple of days off and then come back and kept on going by hand. I believe it was very quick with the machine. But then I spent equal amount of time just rubbing those vibrator marks out. So depending on how deep it is, I suppose, um, as to whether you would go to a machine or not, maybe get a little Dremel, which is going to spin around rather than do the, the little circles. Um, but there you go. That wheel is now ready. Now, another tip is that when you paint a wheel, like this obviously needs clear, put onto it, clear coat. When you paint a wheel, it takes a while to dry. Um, seriously, like a week or so for it to get hard. So in this case, where this wheel has exploded, and obviously needs to come off and be replaced. Um, I'm not going to paint it. I'm going to send it off to the tire shop like it is. Um, and if there's any marks or scratches get put onto it, I will take them off and then I'll put the clear on and go from there. But uh, not going to put the clear on uh, because yeah, in a tire shop situation, they're going to touch it, grab it, mark it, bump it, whatever. Uh, and you'll end up having to go right back to, to scratch again. So it's ready now. Uh, tire's coming today. so. We'll get the tire put on it and then once the tire is on we'll um, paint it i'll have a look put a a, a link um up here for i've got a, a series of like five videos i i took and painting some bmw mags um, and getting the gutter rush off I did it a different method that was more um just um using the paint to fill rather than rubbing it back like this it was a different situation in the mag but have a look at those really good in depth um, about how to paint and what to do all done with pressure packs so it's stuff you can do so there you go Marks, reviews, and tutorials out, and I hope that blesses you and gives you the confidence, just the different sandpapers you can use, different things you can do to uh, get your wheels looking awesome.